I directed the pilot and uh, we were, I believe, something like three days away from going to camera. I could be corrected on that, but around very close to going to camera and we had not, we had a short list, but didn't have our, our amber yet. And um, uh, I remember coming from a location scout in some cold weather and being ushered into the office and quick look at this laptop. There's, uh, there's a link we want you to look at. And on a little postage stamp sized link, I was able to watch her self-taped audition, which had come in sort of after the fact. And it was one of those things where I s sat in rapt attention for about three minutes, four minutes, maybe five, uh, and looked up and agreed with the producers who had brought me to that and said, that's her. And then I heard him. Like he was, he was calling to me. Hey, those pictures you sent me, they, oh, they don't do you justice. You look just like your mother. Everyone says I'm just like my dad, but I never knew what they meant. In the pilot, uh, we were looking for a Jack character, and uh, late in the mix, uh, Michael Weinberg suggested that Sean uh, read for the part of Jack, and uh, since he'd read for Tim, which he was of age to do. I, uh, I did want to thank you for standing up for Amy. Oh, wow. I confess I wasn't uh, yeah. certain that I couldn't I do the math myself. Uh, and I, I wonder, I thought, well, let's try it, wow. but I didn't necessarily hold up uh, hope. Sister, but it's just based on the physicality. I, uh, Sean, I know to be a great actor and have worked I with him on many sets, playing nephew. many parts. He's a great actor. <laughs> capable of many things, and I've always been an arguer for the best actor for the part. Um, nonetheless, I thought it was a long shot. And um, Sean, uh, at his own expense, as I understand it, came down and uh, did makeup tests, invited us to them, and when I saw him, I started to realize, oh, this could work. I swear a little, I never thought I'd be raising kids again. <laughs> I wasn't that great at it the first time around. And, well, now it's all I can do to keep those two from <laughs> killing each other. I swear, Val, I never thought I'd be raising kids again. But I wasn't that great at it first time around, and now it's all I can do to keep those two girls from killing each other. And by the time we went to camera, Sean is Jack, and there no one else on the planet could be Jack. He's wonderful. New York. Guess you'll be heading back, Reese. Well, that was the plan, yeah. But uh, looks like I'll be sticking around here dealing with a few things first. Like the bank, they've been calling. Bank never calls just to say hello. Yeah, tell me about it. You seen these bills? New York. I guess you'll be heading back pretty soon. Oh, that was the idea, yeah, but there's a few things around here I gotta take care of first. Starting with the bank. They've been calling. Banks don't call just to say hello. Tell me about it. Have you seen these bills? You're working late. Oh, I could say the same about you. Hope you're not gonna charge overtime. It's on the house. I figure I still owe your family plenty. Do you know we've got a new kid in that room over the garage? <laughs> Hope he's not as much a pain in the ass as I was. <laughs> you're working late. Hope you're not going to charge us overtime. It's on the house. I figure I still owe your family plenty. Hey, you know there's a new kid in that room over the barn. Hope he's less of a pain in the ass than I was. <laughs> Hey, watch it. What are you doing? I want to see what kind of moron guns his bike around a horse. Nice to meet you, too. Name's Ty. What are you doing here? I'm working. Hey, watch it. What are you doing? I want to know what kind of idiot revs his truck around a horse. Nice to meet you, too. Name's Ty. What are you doing here? I'm working. You can't smoke here. Whatever. I, 
auditioned, and then afterwards they decided they wanted to see more of me. So I did something called a callback. And um, then they decided that they wanted to see more. And then they narrowed it down to me and another girl. And then we were waiting a couple weeks, and we I just happened to be watching Heartland. And then my mom got the call, and that I got the part. So we were screaming, and then I'm here now, and it's amazing. No diapers? Well, Luz organized everything. I can't find them. Well, we better find something fast.